Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for March 2024. I hope everybody had a great week. I am going to take a second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for all Cancer signs, so if you find that that's your situation, guys, just check your other signs and placements, see if those readings resonate better. Also, bear in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. It's not unusual in a general reading, so just get in where you fit in. And as always, Cancer, please do not try to put yourself into a reading that's just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Cancer? Energy of the sign of Cancer. All right, Cancer, you are starting out with the Strength card. Four of Cups reversed and the Two of Pentacles reversed. All right, so guys, I, I do feel like there's a little bit of imbalance here. Some of you guys are really trying to work on yourselves right now. Um, I'm here in Taming the Beast Within. Uh, there's somebody here that may have you've ignored in the past or perhaps they ignored you or they didn't appreciate you. Um, yeah, and I'm hearing that for sure, that now has your attention, but it, it seems like it's causing a more of an imbalance. It's, it's a, a strong connection, but it's an imbalanced connection. Um, also be careful because you could be, um, having to juggle your money a little bit right now as well. Let's see who's in your energy. Show me who is in Cancer's energy. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. We have the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles reversed. So the person that's here in your energy, this is somebody who maybe didn't offer you anything or maybe they feel they don't have anything to offer you. I, I do feel that this person is in some deceptive energy though with this Seven of Swords. They're a little bit sneaky. Um, Seven of Pentacles tells me that they're not investing in this connection either. It's like they're not really offering you anything, but yet they're keeping their eye on you. Um, I don't like the deceptive energy though. Let's see what's between the two of you. Ten of Pentacles. You've known this person for a very long time. You could be involved with this person. Um, you might be receiving some sort of advice from family or friends. Um, be careful that this person is not looking at you with regard to financial gain. Um, yeah, be careful about that because that makes me a little nervous with this Seven of Swords. Let's see, um, but I feel like you've known this person a very long time. Let's see what's affecting this connection. Six of Swords. One of you moved forward from this connection. Yeah, one of you found it to be too chaotic, and I feel like that's you. I feel like you felt unappreciated by this person. So, you know, you have this strong connection with them, but you don't feel that they've appreciated you, and that's because they're in this deceptive energy. Let's see what um, what your outcome is at the end of the week. Show me the outcome. Ooh, two of cups. Two of cups. That's coming together. That's, that's a, a soulmate connection. But I don't see them investing in it. And I see in your energy that it, it just leaves you feeling unbalanced. So we'll clarify that for sure. Bottom of the deck is the emperor in reverse. Sign of Aries. It's underlying energy though. It tells me that there's a situation that may have kind of spun out of control. Somebody needs to take charge of this situation. It also tells me with the emperor in reverse, you could be dealing with somebody that has not been on the up and up. Um... They're not um, faithful. They're not somebody that you can rely on. So let's um, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the strength card here? They could also be very controlling. All right, we have the seven of wands, page of cups, and the five of pentacles. Mm -mm. So you may have an option to have somebody new in your life or to have a reconciliation with this person that you've known for a long time. I feel like you're very guarded, but this is such a strong connection. So uh, at the same time, you do have strong feelings towards someone else too. 
I feel like there's a lot of internal conflict for you, but it's almost like you're, I'm surprised that the lovers didn't show up. Um, it's like you have a choice between this past person who you have this strong connection with and somebody new. And you're kind of like, I don't know what to do. This could be why you're receiving advice from family or friends as well. Why is this Four of Cups here? All right, we have the Hermit and we have the Knight of Swords. So yeah, I do see communication with this person. I see this communication. Um, I feel like you haven't talked to this person in a long time. I do feel like you kind of withdrew from them. You kind of went in your own direction. You felt like the connection was not stable, but there is going to be communication. And I feel like they're going to rush in with communication. You've given a lot of thought to this. I do see you communicating with them, but you know, what you're communicating to them is how you didn't feel appreciated. You did, you felt ignored by them. So, and ironically, because you're thinking about this person, it's kind of why it's pulling them into your energy. Why is the two of pentacles in reverse? The wheel of fortune, that's good. And the moon in reverse. Okay, so everything's going to turn out in your favor. I feel like you have all this conflict because you have a choice between two people, Cancer. I feel like you're going to be making a decision. This has caused some imbalance for you, but I feel like you're going to be making a decision. And the decision that you make is actually what's going to work out for you in the long run. Um, it's like you have an epiphany, right? And this epiphany has to do with love and partnership. It has to do with divine timing for some of you. Um, and incidentally, if you are having to juggle your money a little bit, everything's going to be fine there too. So, you know, you have things moving in your favor. So let's look at this person's energy. Why is the page of pentacles? I see you making a choice, Cancer. And I see you moving in the direction of true love, of a soulmate. All right, we have the Page of Swords, the Star in Reverse, and the Nine of Wands. This person's watching you. It's like they're not really offering anything or they feel that they don't have anything to offer, but they're watching you. They kind of want to work things out, but they don't trust it. There's this energy of, you know, feeling like it's a hopeless situation. So they may be aware that you have somebody new that's in your life as well. I do feel like they would like to work out. They're looking to see, will you work things out? Are you willing to do that? Why is this Seven of Swords here? All right, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords. Ace of Wands reversed. And the Seven of Cups. So... The deception has to do with why this ended. This person does have options. They do. Um, but the deception has to do with why this ended. They are extremely worried about whether or not they're going to find success in this connection. And they're willing to do anything devious in order to, to be successful. So I, I feel like you have to be careful because this person does have a little bit of sneaky nature. They're making plans to move towards you, um, but just know that they do have options. Um, the deception has to do with options and why this connection ended, but they want, they want things to work out. They want success with you. I would just ask myself why, because there's deception that's underlying it all. And they're really worried about whether or not you've moved on. Um, let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, very strong Aquarius energy. Could be another water sign. That would be a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer like yourself. Three of Cups reversed and the King of Swords. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, don't get too hung up on the signs though. This person, <laughs> this person is saying you didn't invest. They're saying basically that this, this, um, things haven't worked out because you're not, you're not putting, you know, your attention on them. 
they feel that they're in the right. They feel that they're in the right. Um, with the Three of Cups in the reverse, they're unhappy. This is somebody who has difficulty expressing their emotions. They feel more comfortable, you know, dealing with things in a logical manner. So when they approach, it's likely to be a little bit rash in the way they approach. It could be suddenly, it, it, they could even pick a fight just to get your attention. Um, and they do have your attention. They just don't know it. They're they're looking to see, hey, did, did my cancer sign move forward? Have they moved on? Um, I do see that they are basically saying the, the reason things didn't work out between the two of you is because you were holding back. You didn't want to reconcile. You're not giving love to the connection. You're not investing in the connection. They're in the right. You're in the wrong. So there's a little bit of blame game that's going on with this person. Um, but the truth is, is that they have a lot of difficulty expressing their emotions. They're much much more content being on the logical side of things. So I do see that they're unhappy. Um, they do feel that you have withdrawn from them and that you're not investing. And this makes them unhappy. So I feel like this person might be receiving advice as well from family or close friends. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? And again, this is somebody that you have known for quite some time. This is not... Uh, a brand new person that I'm seeing here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Oh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. And it's causing them a tower. Oh, ooh. So you have, you're going to get everything that you want here. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is the everything card. And you have the, t so on your side, Cancer, you have the Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. So you do, you have a choice between somebody new and you have the choice between this, this person, somebody new and this person. I feel like you're going to look at this from a long-term standpoint. You may take advice like they are um, from family or friends, but you want everything. You don't want somebody that's just coming in with the wand. And this person had options in the past. They had deceptive energy. So you don't want somebody that's just coming in for sex. Um, you've thought about this a lot. You've given this a lot of thought. And I do feel like you want everything and you're going to get it because you have this wheel of fortune here. Now, this is causing a tower moment for them. So you may, you may be just now moving into another connection a solid connection that you feel is going to last, you know, it's a long-term connection because it's causing a tower moment. They're watching this happen and it's causing a tower moment. It's causing them to feel hopeless. Um, why is the six of swords here? I do feel like this person may have been unfaithful to you in the past. And that may have been what caused the ending of this connection. Yeah, temperance, you're healing. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person was a player. This person was a player. They're watching you move forward, and it is tearing them up. And it's just making them want you more and more. They're, they're obsessing over you. They're looking at this connection. They're, they're losing sleep at night. This person's worried. How can how can I make this work out? What can I do to change this? Even if they have to do something underhanded. So you're definitely going to hear from this person and it's going to be sudden. It's going to be very sudden, but I feel like you're prepared. It's almost like you know this person's going to show back up and you're ready for it. Um, yeah, you're ready for it. I feel like you've moved on and you're you're healing your energy. You're finding your balance. Let's look at your outcome. Yeah. So you are moving into this two of cups, but it's not with this person. You're moving into a two of cups with somebody new. You've had an epiphany about the imbalance that's in this connection. And I feel like you may you may have found out some things about this person as well, but you're you're moving into your two of cups, into a solid foundation that could go the distance here. You're freeing yourself. Eight of swords reversed. 
you're freeing yourself from this. You've realized what you need to do to move forward and to be successful. And so you're moving into a new connection. You're no longer waiting around for this person. I do feel like there was a moment of conflict as you were presented with this choice, but you're standing your ground. And I feel like you, you are realizing that this is not where your future is. Now they have justice, which is a sign of, of karma. It's karmic justice. They're unhappy. They feel that you have turned your back on them, that, you know, things didn't work out between you and them because you refused to take them back. But this is karma. They're, they're suffering the, the karma that they created by not treating you with the respect you deserve. Not, you know, they may have ignored you. They didn't provide stability in the relationship. They may have been a bit of a player here. And they definitely have deceptive energy. And now they're reaping the karma for that. So they're watching. They're literally sitting back watching you move into another connection that really does have the ability to go long term and, and be that ten of coins. They're watching you enter into the ten of coins. Bottom of the deck is a page of wands. Underlying energy. And I feel like that's the energy of this person cropping back up. They're likely to initiate some sort of communication. And it's going to most likely be a little bit flirty. It's going to be a little bit, you know, uh, it's small. Just enough to get your attention, to get you focused on them again. But what they don't realize, Cancer, is that you've done a lot of healing. And you, it's almost like you know they're coming back at some point. And you're ready. You, you have... You have everything prepared for what it is that you want to say to this person. And I feel like you're going to put a truth bomb on them. So, either way, I see everything working out in your favor here. And it's because you, you've come out of this dark period. You're freeing yourself from a period of darkness, a period of uncertainty, of, of imbalance. And you're no longer waiting around for this person. You're moving towards your own Two of Cups. And this person's having to watch you do it. That's their karma. Ouch. Yeah, that's rough for them. Good for you. All right, so, and I think I've seen this new person cropping up in your readings a lot um, over the last several weeks. Let's see what we have. All right, so we have sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. I feel like that's with this new person. And then we have time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. That tells me this person's not giving up on this connection. They're kind of plotting and planning on how to make this work. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button and be sure you subscribe to my channel. Until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.